pandering pastors, single women run the church. Men don't want to be spiritual or men don't want to be under the authority of God. That's not necessarily it. Some do want to do it and some don't. The ones that do want this to be a part of their life can't be in the majority of churches because they won't stand for the pastor who's not willing to give the whole truth about what the word of God says about women and family and men and order. Read the Old Testament, okay? If you, listen, let me tell you something. If I ever go to church again, and I'm hearing some fair weather New Testament nonsense, okay? I'm hearing pastor feminists, huh? You better read that Old Testament. You better tell it what it really says. Pastors leave out all kinds of stuff. How these pastors know that single women would gawk at what the Bible actually says about women and what the Bible actually says about order and what the Bible actually says about punishment and what the Bible actually says about authority and what the Bible actually says about obedience, not just in relationship, but just in general. These pastors know that w that single women, women would gawk at what the Bible actually says in its entirety. So they leave it out and men won't stand for it. So the pastors will accommodate and compromise and men don't respect that. And they're not sitting for that. The issue is that there are way more Christian pastors who will pander and accommodate and twist up what they call the word of God to pander to a human woman. And that's what men don't respect. They're pandering to the money. What are we talking about here? Okay, they want those tides. I ever tell you one time, came back to the UK. So I just came back to the, mm, was it when I, two years back into the UK. My mom wants to go to church. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. She goes to church. She starts complaining about the tide. I'm like, mom, what do you expect? This is church. You have to, you have to pay. Okay, pay to pray. We already know how it is. So she was like, she didn't bring her money one time. She didn't bring any cash. <laughs> they came around with a card machine. They said, hey, they said, hey, yo, don't don't worry. Okay, little tap tap on the card. I said, wow. Okay, they would really do anything for nobody, including pandering. Okay, we already know a lot of these women, they get into their feminism, they they start being for the streets, and then they regret it. Okay, then they hit 28, 29, all of a sudden they turn to God. Okay, that is the that is the majority of the church. Okay, single women. The pastor knows his audience. Oh, he, he really does. And he's gonna do what he needs to do. So over these past couple weeks, there's been two trends or two things trending on the internet. One was a trend and the other one just started trending. So the first trend was the black wife effect. Now, the black wife effect is essentially black women who date outside their race, posting their husbands before them and then after them and them essentially glowing up, okay? And then something else that went trending was a tweet that allegedly came out from a billionaire stating that billionaires prefer black women. And black women were acting an absolute fool, okay? They couldn't contain the excitement that they got from being the preference of not only billionaires, but white billionaires. Just last week, a bunch of black men came on the internet talking about everything that's wrong with black women and why we aren't getting picked by these male black athletes. Fast forward to now, we have the black girlfriend, black wife effect. And then we just had this billionaire put out the statement talking about how black women are for grown men and that billionaires prefer black women because of everything that we bring to the table. Why am I now seeing a lot of the same men who last week were talking about how terrible we were now upset about the black girlfriend trend and what the billionaire said about black women? Every time black women are being uplifted as a whole, y'all always seem to find an issue in it. You can't clock when you are being fetishized, but suddenly you can tell when a black woman is being fetishized when other men of other races are suddenly calling us beautiful and want us. Y'all make it very clear every day that we are not your preference. So we go out and find people who prefer us and that also makes you mad. What do you want? What do you want? What? So apparently Ben Horowitz has said 
billionaires prefer black women and some black men are upset. But do you know what's so funny is every time one of these black men who don't date black women, and I have met several, every time one of these black men who don't date black women is called out for it, what do they say? It's just a preference. It's just a preference. I'm not racist. I'm not colorist. It's just a preference. Oh. So it's it's okay to have a preference. Just not when we're the preference. <laughs> so unsurprisingly, this turned out not to be the case, okay? And it turns out that those tweets, the original tweets from the billionaire, weren't in fact authentic. Like women, come on back to the brothers. <laughs> Black wives are for grown-ups. The billionaire said black wives are for grown-ups. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he got on here yesterday and said, I never said that. I never even spoke to the woman who originally posted it. Oh, my God. Like, why y'all capping on that man's name? They don't want y'all like that. Oh, the billionaire white men said we're desirable. Calm down. <laughs> Come on back. It's funny, though, right? How, how damaged y'all are from the men that y'all have chosen. And then y'all get on here and find any way to bash black men. And what do you know? That man, y'all putting words in that man's mouth. Y'all thought y'all had a friend. And now look at y'all. Clowning. Just, just clowning. Y'all find any way to clown black men. Shout out to my sisters that stood strong. But the ones that was bashing black men, oh my goodness. I hope y'all find some healing one day and just, just go heal from the man that that destroyed you in that aspect. I, I really do. And as hard as it may sound, it just shows y'all that these black women look as white men as superiors and as Superman to save them. Meanwhile, they look at black men as inferior, as less than. And they showed their ass this week. Oh, I love I love when people make them look stupid. I, I just I love when it gets thrown back in their faces. So here's the problem. And I'm gonna try to articulate this properly in this gender war, okay? So this is what you have. You have a section of black men who don't date inside their race. They only date outside their race, okay? And when they articulate why, they can't do that without demeaning black women. These are the black men that say, if it ain't snowing, I ain't going, okay? Those types of black men, okay? And then you have the black women who are obviously upset and attacking those black men. But there's an other section of black women here who do literally the exact same thing that these section of black women attack these section of black men for, okay? And then another section of black men are attacking these women, okay? So it's a back and forth. Really, they're both doing the same exact thing and scarface mark is pointing out that all these black women were glorifying white men because of these the black wife effect which i'm going to put up on the screen right now and then combine that with the fact that billionaires white billionaires prefer black women and black women are for grown-ups because if you can't deal with a black woman you're not a grown-up and that's why all these black men blah 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 and they were just going on and on and on so now you have all these black men who are calling out these women demanding apologies demanding they come out and address it and this is what they had to say yesterday i made a video about the ben horowitz quote preferring black women and now we all know he didn't say it and there are a lot of black men a lot of black men <laughs> in my comments who want me to address it. Cool. Now, I did not fact check the quote, so you can drag me to hell and back for that. But part of the reason I didn't really feel the need to fact check it was because I wasn't really talking about Ben Horowitz. I was talking about the black men who were angry about the quote. Black men like, you know, these guys here. As a deeper skinned black woman, I have heard pretty much my whole life how undesirable I am. And I've heard it almost exclusively from black men. Nevertheless, I love black men. I'm married to a black man. My father is a black man. My nephews are black men. I love black men. If you're a black man who loves black women, then nothing in that video was aimed towards you. But as they say, a hit dog will holler. Anywho, the video's still up for now, um, so go watch it if you'd like. It may get taken down because Ben Horowitz is out here sending ceases and desistesses, and I'm not trying to get sued by a billionaire, but I do stand by everything I said, so.
What I don't understand is, as a married woman, why were you so happy that you were someone else's preference? You seemed the joy in that video that was covered out. I was happy for you in that moment. I really was. But why do you care? You're your husband's preference now. Shouldn't that... I, I don't know. Just last week, a bunch of black men came on the internet talking about everything that's wrong with black women. And I'm convinced every single man in my comments, every man stitching me, did not even watch the video fully through. They only heard that portion of the video, took it, and ran with it. And I'm not going to sit here and keep repeating my point. My point is there. My point still stands. You're cheesing hard as fuck. For, for why? Why? Because all of the notions and harmful stereotypes that you have about black women is somehow further solidified because that quote doesn't exist or what i would say a lot of y'all need to sit down and you know reflect but i don't even think y'all have the capacity to a lot of y'all should have been left behind as children and i mean that as disrespectfully as possible yeah a lot of the black men were celebrating the fact that this wasn't true because it would be women like yourself who would do the exact same thing that black women will bash black men for and that's not only glorifying other races but demeaning black men in the process so when it turns out that is false you've done all that for absolutely no reason because guess what you're not the preference of billionaires black women are only the preference only the preference of black men that's it and that's because we're the only race that know that black women aren't what they're portrayed to be in the media you go to different countries, different races, because don't forget, whether it's friends or whatever the case is, the majority of us stick within our race. The majority of us aren't ingrained and ingratiated in all these other races. We don't really know outside of what we see. Maybe we have a friend from, but we don't know the full scope of how these other races are. We only know what we see. And it's the same for black people and what we see isn't good on the media isn't good on the internet which is why black women aren't anyone else's preferences other than black men even though when you actually deep it all these other races of women they get the lip fillers they get the butt fillers they get the body just like black women some of them even don't y'all notice that baby baby let me tell y'all something i remember i was paying 50 50 bills in my goddamn marriage and I didn't mind helping when I needed. But guess what? Once I stopped paying 50-50 bills with the, in the marriage, he started doing whatever he wanted to do with his money. He wasn't taking the family out. He wasn't taking me out on dates. It was no togetherness. It was just 50-50 on the bills. Anytime you see a man want to do 50-50 and not take care of the full family by himself, he has an agenda. Bitch, that money going to somebody else. And if he don't have enough motherfucking money, he shouldn't even have another uh, motherfucking uh, family. Let me say that again. Bitch, if you can't afford a woman, you shouldn't get a woman. So what you're trying to... So what, you, what you're trying to convince us is that when he was taking care of everything, he was paying all the bills, he was taking you out for dinner, he was doing a lot. But then when you went 50-50... And he had more income, he wasn't taking you out. Is that is that what I'm is that what you're saying? Baby, take care of yourself by yourself. We only had to deal with that shit in the black community. Making me pay them feathery ass three hundred dollars for a six hundred dollar mortgage. You know why? Because them children had an agenda. But if you was living by yourself, you had to pay all of it. You're complaining about a fifty percent discount. Because you want a hundred percent discount, that would make no sense. I, I would love for someone to pay half of my bills. That's what you're complaining about. Baby, let me tell y'all something. Don't get caught up in that trap paying them 50-50 on them bills. You hear me? Don't get caught. And guess what? And I went along with it. And guess what happened? I went viral. I started making a whole lot of money and them little feathery ass $300 that I was contributing wasn't shit. That was in my bank account. Ah! By the time I had divorced the nigga, I had over $50,000 in my bank account. So let me 
me tell you something. If a nigga making you pay 50-50, baby, go ahead and pay the 50-50, but you got to plan your way out. Okay? I'll tell y'all that in my book next. All right? Let's speak now. Mm, of course you're saying a book. <laughs> you know why white women and black women are the only women who come on the internet and complain about 50-50? It's because you guys are the most feminist. You guys are the most delusional. You guys are the most corrupt. Everybody else just gets on with it. Because most people actually understand the economy. <laughs> most people actually have a logical understanding of the climate in which we currently live. So, you know, look, if you guys don't want to do 50 50, fantastic. You want to get a rich man? Great. Fantastic. Good for you. I hope it works out. It won't, but I hope it works out. Why can't you go 50 50 with your man? So, there's two things that I picked up from this take. The first one is American men are really spoiled in the fact that they have access to women without proving to the greater community that they have the means to provide for said women, which is why you don't hear anything from passport bros. Strange, huh? The second is only black women are expected to go half or 50 50 with black men, just black women, which is also strange. What would you been saying right now? That's like me saying American women are sport because they have access to men and they don't cook or clean, they aren't submissive, and they aren't virgins. Are we going back in time? It's 2024! So why is it always the least traditional women who try to place this traditionalism onto men? I, 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 it doesn't make any sense. You're not virgins, you're not submissive. Why are you trying to place traditionalism onto men when you're not yourself? And black women are complaining about 50-50? Girl, we are in last place! Look at it, income by ethnicity. We are in dead last place. Well, I'll never go 50-50 with my man. Shut up, bitch. Look, open your eyes for once and look. Wait a minute, everybody pay attention. Read this with me. Median household income. That means it could be two people in a household making $51,374. And you're telling me you're gonna use one income because you refuse to go 50-50 with your man? You will never make it. You will never make it. Listen, the black community, we need to change our thought process. Oh, I'm not gonna go 50-50 with my man. He gotta pay all the bills. He got Shut up! Shut up your mouth! We are in dead last place. You know that baby face race song? A million cash race? We are in last place! <laughs> not only do we make the least, but we spend the most. Let me show you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Black consumer spending is growing at a rate of 5% per year, faster than the overall US consumer spending growth of 3%. We are spending more than the average American. Okay, now, black spending power reached a record of 1.6 trillion in 2021. And you know what they're trying to say now? By 2024, black people spending in the US is gonna reach 1.8 trillion dollars. Meanwhile, we make the least. <laughs> Are we using our brains? You're black and you hate the soft guy era while we promote partnership? Go back and watch this video. What place are we in again? <laughs> Never move into a woman's house. You will regret it. About 10 years ago, I had to learn this the hard way. And boy, never again. At the beginning, it always used to be a joke. You know, the get out of my house. And you just, you know, you kind of laugh it off because it's funny, right? Until one day we had a disagreement. And then she said, get out of my house. Me, like an idiot, I thought, oh, she's just joking. And she just went, get out of my house. I was like, <laughs> and because my name wasn't on the lease, I had no choice. I had to leave, overnight bag and everything. But the next day she called me and said, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean it. You can come back. Which I did because <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. But best believe I spent the next two weeks looking for my own place. But check this, me looking for an apartment actually caused us to break up because she thought, I had commitment issues and I'm just like <laughs> this is advice that I've been given since I was maybe 12 years old okay always have your own stuff as a man if you're moving in with a woman you're moving together into your own place both for your name on lease or she moves in with you okay because one little disagreement and she's kicking you out now where you going you gotta go to a hotel you might have to move back in with family because we all know finding a house is a process, right? Because for whatever reason, women, more than men, will hold that over you. The fact that you live there, it's not yours, but you live there. If you grew up with a mother, you know how this feels. It's always her house. It's never your house. And it's just the same if you move in with a woman.
This liquor got me get my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone Blowing we smoke in the ozone I just can't let this go This liquor got me get my zone